Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got a fun get ready with me video for y'all today and it's on this look right here. So I was just kind of playing around with makeup and this is the look that ended up coming out of that. So I played with a bunch of different things. A lot of things from Jessie's Girl because they sent me a really fun package with a bunch of different things in there. So I played with a lot of their stuff, some flower beauty things, some wet wild stuff. So just a lot of stuff. But a lot of affordable stuff, a lot of drugstore goodies, which I love. So yeah, it's kind of like a smoky halo sort of an eye and then a fun like girly pink lips. So this is the look. If you want to get ready with me, then just keep watching. Okay, I'm going to start by applying some moisturizer. Today I'm using the Derma E Purifying Oil-Free Moisturizer Activated Charcoal. I do really like this moisturizer. It's very light feeling, but it does still feel hydrating. So. I like it for daytime because it's just, you know, light and not overwhelming. I just realized I'm wearing no jewelry, including my wedding ring. I need to go get that. Now I'm going to apply some primer. Today I'm using my Laura Mercier Foundation Primer Blemishless. Foundation today, I'm going to use this one from Wet n Wild. This is the Photo Focus Foundation, and I have it in Soft Ivory. So I'm going to take this and kind of like dot it all over my face, and then blend it in with my Sephora Mineral Powder Number 45 brush. So this is kind of spatula sort of dealy thing. This smells like paint, so just know that about it. But I do really like this foundation. This color is a little bit light for me, but you know. Once I get everything on, it works. It's fine. So you can see I'm looking pretty fair right now. Like this is definitely a little bit light for me, but once I get everything on, it does work. So now I'm going to go ahead and apply some eye primer. I'm using the Jessie's Girl Eyeshadow Primer. I like to do my eye primer before my brows as I get it in my hair because then it can kind of like set while I'm doing my brows. So it's usually my routine. I'm gonna go ahead and skip through my brows in this video because I actually have a whole brow routine video showing these products. So if you wanna see like how this process works, check out that video. For eyeshadow today, I'm gonna to be playing with this one from Jessie's Girl. This is from the Backstage Collection. This is called Sounds of the City collection. Yeah, Sounds of the City collection. So I think I'm gonna take this one right here, the second color, and I'm using a Cosette D220 brush, and I'm just gonna apply this into my crease. I've used this once before, and I like it. Like, I wouldn't say it's the nicest eyeshadow palette that I've used, but I like the mattes. They blend well, like this is nice and pigmented and it's blending well. Um, I've noticed that these, well, they fade a little bit, but not significantly. Because I know this is, you know, a drugstore palette, so I think for the price, it seems to work pretty well. Now, I haven't tried the Jessie's Girl Primer before today, so I will annotate, like, if I notice it works better with their actual primer, because I've used it with other primers before. So we will see, but you can see, I mean, that's pigmented and it's bl it's blending well, it's building up. So overall, I like it. Now I'm just kind of playing here, so we'll see what happens. So I'm gonna take this one over here on, this is a Wet n Wild Small Concealer Brush, and I'm gonna apply this all over my lids. I'm gonna do like a, I don't know, like a, slate smoky eye but then I want to put a little pop in the middle so kind of like a halo eye. We'll see. I don't know if I said this but what I'm doing with this is I'm applying it just all over my lid and connecting it up into that crease color. This seems pretty pigmented, a little bit powdery but I mean I'm really not getting that much fallout with it so that's good. So I would say maybe less powdery, more just soft. They're soft sort of shadows, it seems like. I'm just going back in with that matte color and just doing a little bit of blending. 
I'm gonna go ahead and apply my brow bone highlight, this color right here on, I think this is like an Eco Tools brush or something. Just kind of clean up the top of my brow. Now for a little fun pop, I'm gonna take this color right here on a Real Techniques detailer brush, and I'm gonna wet this with some MAC Fix Plus, and then apply that right into the center of my lids. So kind of just a little brightness right to the center of my lids. I like that, but I actually want to deepen up my outer corner just the tiniest little bit, so I'm gonna get some of this on, I don't remember what this is called, but it's from the CVS. I think it's like a Beauty 360 crease brush or something like that. Something like that. Any kind of a tiny brush to get out there in the outer corner. I just want a little bit more darkness out there. And then I'm going to take just the tiniest little bit of this shade on the inner corner. Just to deepen that up a little bit. But I don't want it quite as dark as the outer corner. You can definitely do the darkest shade, but I just don't want it quite that intense today. Now for some liner on my upper lash line, I'm going to use this Jessie's Girl Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner Super Fine Applicator. And it looks a lot like the um, Physician's Formula one, but I've heard this one is really, really good, so I'm excited to try this. Okay, so that got a lot more wingy and dramatic than I was expecting, but we're just gonna go with it so that's okay we got a wing liner today after all but I do really like this liner like it applied nicely it was pigmented it didn't drag it doesn't seem like it's moving anywhere yet so I'm really impressed with that liner I like that a lot and I know a lot of people love it so I was expecting good things out of it so yay on the liner so now I'm gonna curl my lashes and apply some mascara I'm using my Sephora XL show curl or something like that um, curler I'm moving it because it's dirty and I don't want you to see my dirty eyelash curler too closely so I'm using that and then I'm using these two mascaras this is the it cosmetics superhero I'm going to use that for my upper lashes and I'm going to use my it cosmetics tight line for my lower lashes concealer today I'm going to use my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer. I have it in light ivory and I'm going to blend it in with my Beauty Junkies Mini Angled Brush. I really, really like this concealer. I feel like it has good coverage. It looks nice. It wears well. I've heard kind of mixed reviews on it when I've watched reviews on it, but for me personally, I really, really enjoy it. For powder today, I'm going to use my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Pressed Powder. I have it in Warm Light, and I'm applying that with my e.l.f. Small Tapered Brush and my Real Techniques Blush Brush. contour today I'm going to use this Jessie's Girl Highlight and Contour Kit. I'm going to take this one right here on a Sedona Lace FB05 brush and I'm just going to apply this into the hollows of my cheeks. It's really pigmented so you know be careful with it but it does blend well so I do really like this kit. Um, let me see. I'm trying to remember. The like glowy highlight on it is kind of like an icy white. It is really pretty. Um, I was hoping it would be a little bit more intense, but I mean it is really pretty for every day. But I find that the contour shades blend really nicely into the skin, so I like this little palette. I think for an, aff an affordable drugstore price, I think it works really well.
blush I'm going to use this little trio from Flower Beauty. This is the Lift and Sculpt Contouring Palette, and this is in light to medium. So I'm going to take this pink right here, and I'm actually going to dab a little bit into the contour shade next to it to make it like a more kind of neutral pink, not quite such a bright pink. And I'm applying this with my Sigma Large Ambl Ambled mm -hmm. Angled Contour Brush F40. <laughs> I guess I'm going to have to start calling it that, a large ambled brush. Mm-hmm, that's its new name apparently. These are very pigmented, but they are blending really nicely into the skin. I like these a lot. I need to do a little bit of blending around the outside of that, so I'm going to take my foundation brush and just kind of blend that. I do this a lot with my contour, with my blush. Just anytime it's looking a little bit crazy and needs to be blended, I take my foundation brush and do blending all the time. For highlighter, I'm going to use this trio by Flower Beauty. This is the Shimmer and Strobe Highlighting Palette, and I'm going to take a little combo of this pink and this champagne here. Heard really good things about this palette. And that is really pretty. Oh my goodness. I love that. It's so pretty. I'm using a Beauty Junkies Pro Highlighter Brush to apply this. Man, that is nice. Love it. For lips today, I'm going to apply this little combo. First is the Wet n Wild Perfect Pout Gel Lip Liner, which I love these. This is in Never Petal Down. It's a really pretty pink. And over that, I'm going to apply this Jessie's Girl Liquid Glass Lip Gloss. This is in Idyllic. It looks like a really pretty, kind of like shiny, shimmery pink. Yum, this gloss smells really good. Did you understand it? I said, this gloss smells really good. <laughs> smells like vanilla cupcakes. Oh my goodness, that smells amazing. <gasps> Love that. that's the finished look so how would you really enjoyed this video please hit a thumbs up if you did let me know down below what drugstore goodies you have been grabbing for recently you all know I love me some drugstore makeup so I would love to know what you've been grabbing for and loving lately ask me any questions that you have I'm happy to answer those please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in my next video bye